Okay, this morning we went undercover in a 3D printed Bangkok bike underground industry. A few years ago I posted that Bangkok has the most bling bikes in the world. I've lived all over the world as a cyclist and I've never seen more bling bikes than I have in Bangkok. And someone said, no way, that's not possible because Thai people are very poor. All they do is rice farming and that's it. All the bikes you saw, Harley, are fake. The person was right. These are all fake. All these bikes are 3D printed. That guy's just doing the polishing, polishing touch up there. This bike's ready for a customer. It's a 3D printed Colnago. Another one over here. Everything on this bike, 3D printed from old parts where they recycle it, crunch it up. Even this saddle here is 3D printed and then they ship them off. This is actually near the airport. Uh, they call it the Sky Lane, but it's actually just a big 3D printing factory where bikes and stuff these guys are some of the testers test riders and they make sure the bikes are safe and ready to fit for export so basically these frames cost about 50 bucks uh, retail that cost about 10 20 bucks to make so they double their money and sell the frames like 50 bucks etc so 50 to 100 bucks get one of these 3d printed bikes complete bike for maybe 70 bucks 3d printed so we're going to go in deep and see if you can spot um any bikes that you recognize 3d printed tarmac even 3d printed s works latest color and uh, yeah, so pretty amazing. The the finish, the quality is really good. Like I'm quite impressed. Uh, so basically, you got you got workers here. This is like a lunch room where they go out and test the the bikes, and they come back and just talk about you know the finish and and the ride quality, etc. Make sure it's you know, ready for customers. 3D printed Shiraz Red Group set. Everything's 3D printed. Everything here is fake counterfeit. This guy here doing a, a test ride on one of the stalk, the fake stalks, and uh, fake Dura Ace cranks there. Fake dress shifters, this guy here, testing out one of the new AliExpress Alibaba Dogmas with the lightweight disc brake wheels, which aren't lightweight anymore, but they are called lightweight, but they're not lightweight, but they are lightweight. <clears throat> but they're not like actually lightweight in terms of weight. It's the lightweight sticker is though, that's an F12 disc brake with a zero offset 3D printed post. So it's got a, a 3D printed rotor counterfeit crank. So it's a 7-Eleven, so I actually have a, the factory so big they have a 7-Eleven uh, for all the workers to get food from, and it's all free on the house. All right, there. So 7-Eleven, one of the guys who owns 7-Eleven in Thailand, he's a big cyclist fan, so he just provides free food for all the workers and the test riders. And this is a 3D Princeton Components wheel set on this uh, specialized 3D printed counterfeit shiv. And so, yeah, there's a, there's a trek over here. 3D printed zip product on it. It's pretty amazing what they can do. Just A lot of this stuff just from recycled Coke bottles, uh, recycled airplane wings because it's near the Suwannabum airport so any planes that crash full of tourists they just they sweep up all the carbon fiber uh, shavings and then they drive them down the road to the this 3d printed bike factory and they just 3d print the carbon so yes it's a counterfeit pinarello there um the, the karima counterfeit wheels and a counterfeit ceramic speed pulley on there counterfeit for 3d printed shram red group set because yeah, the average income in Thailand is maybe like 10 bucks a day. You know, like, there's no way they could afford the real versions of these bikes. It's 3D printed Dura Ace Group. Even the Dura Ace Group sets a 3D print. If you look closely at the label, it's called Dura Ake um, because they're printed out of Coke cans, etc. So it's very, 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 very interesting stuff. Uh, it's a Colnago here. Colnago. 3D printed. Shram the disc brake, uh, rim brakes as well. And this one here, it's got the ceramic speed 3D printed counterfeit with on the Pinarello, Chinarello, Grenadiers. So it's pretty. It's a giant TCR 3D printed. Pretty, uh, yeah. It's pretty. It's amazing. With the, and that's a counterfeit Ultegra 12 speed groups at AliExpress. So these racks here, these aren't bike racks. They're actually drying racks. This guy here's got a t 3D printed TT bike on top of the car, and they do a few laps just to help the carbon dry out before it gets shipped off for export. Some of the girls here, some of the these girls. Uh, they make the frames and they're out just for a test ride to, to stay fit and stay slim for work. <clears throat> so it works pretty good. This is one of the test tracks here. This guy here is like, hey, don't film, please. Like, no filming of the product. And this is one of the uh, Land Cruisers there, the green Land Cruiser. Oh. But yeah, pretty amazing place, man. Pretty amazing place. And I'm filming this footage on my uh, fake Sony FX3, which is also made in Thailand. Um, it's pretty crazy how much fake stuff you can get here in Thailand. It's the fake head wheels. Again, it's a bit of reprint here. This is a Pirelli bike or Pinelli. Um, but yeah, they basically just take stickers off. That, that, see that little, that little foldable bike there? That's what a lot of the bikes start off as. They ride in as a foldable bike. 
they get chucked into this machine that grinds them down and then 3D prints out in a road bike. These girls, here we go, this is a fresh, these are freshly built bikes just coming out of the, out of the uh, 3D printer and they've got to hang them up and dry them out there in the heat uh, for at least five hours to, to let all the resins harden and the epoxies sort of uh, coagulate in the in the humidity there. So just dr it's a drying rack so you know so they don't touch touch each other so the bikes can dry out and the epoxies harden. They said, hey, don't get too close because the paint's still wet. I said, no worries, I'll, I'll just stand up here. So that's okay, mate. It's just you know, not too close, but yeah, that's okay. So you saw this, the paint's a bit wet there as well. You look close, it's sort of a bit wet. The gold decals still wet on the thing there. Even that chain's not fully gold yet. Come back in a couple of hours, it'll be fully gold. Just set sets in the sunshine there. A bit of shade because they don't put too much sunshine on the freshly painted bikes because it can cause the decals to sort of like melt off. And those Pirelli tires are, I think, they're actually genuine. The, the tires are genuine because they come from the rubber, the rubber trees here in Thailand. Some more Pinarellos there. The the F100 3D print and a bit of overexposure there on the. See, this is the problem with these fake Sony cameras I'm using. Is a, there's a giant TCR over there, 3D printed. Isn't it amazing how basic the rim brake bikes look now? I think that, that TCR is feeding the birds there. They're, those birds are actually 3D printed. Nothing's real in Thailand. Right? It's, it's all fake. They're actually rotor-controlled drone birds. This Trek Amonda, it's a fake Honda, but otherwise it looks pretty cool. So this is the air quality in the factory, the air quality index to make sure the workers are all good. And so it's 6 a.m. today. It's a moderate uh, particulates in the air. So yeah, it's, uh, so keep that in mind. And if it's over 200, probably don't ride your bike, they say. Unhealthy, the sensitive groups, unhealthy, very unhealthy, hazardous. Okay. Interesting times. Cervelo, this is the Cervelo drying rack here. Thresh out of the 3D printer. That's, that's a pretty color, isn't it? So it's still a bit wet. You can see it almost dripping down the ground. Little kid here. They, the workers are pretty young. They start age about five, they start working here in the factory. And it's just so they get good craftsmanship at early days. This is some bikes ready to, for shipping. They're all done and dusted. They're all dried. And they've got tags in there, so they're ready to be shipped out. 70 bucks a bike. So if you want a nice bike, bring your $70 and income factory direct here. Get a bike for 70 bucks. This is a Velo S5. That's one of the new ones, I think, the 3D printed new ones. Some more Princeton product on the back there. This is, a, this is actually real. This is a real steel bike. So that they can't do 3D steel just yet. This is an Aluna. So this is actually, this is the only real bike um, in this whole factory here. It's quite interesting. I don't understand what, what the steel bike was doing there, but that's okay. We don't discriminate. There's another drying rack there. Keep all the bikes dry and uh, dry and high. Occasionally a fly gets stuck to the paint and then the, they have a worker comes along just sort of flicks the flies away. I didn't film it, but there's big fly traps everywhere just to keep the flies off the paint. That's another Pinarello F10. They do, that's, I think that Specialized could be real, or that one there, maybe. Or maybe it's getting ready for the, the chipper. Trek, uh, an old Madone carbon one. It's a nice colour, isn't it? Um, but yeah, there's a bike pump here. So basically these guys are just pumping the tyres up. These bikes, this is sort of the last part for shipping. They pump the tyres up. So that way when you, the customer, get your bike for 70 bucks, delivered to your door, $70.00. The tires are already pumped up. You can you put your pedals on and ride out the door. All right, that, how good's that? There's the Cipollini counterfeits. Uh, so you get a couple. They're about forty bucks a frame set. Here's forty bucks. You buy. You probably get a discount if you ask. If you bought more than more than two or three, probably give you yeah you know, five bucks off the frame set. Make it thirty five bucks. See so yeah, the bike shops there with some different uh, things up in the air there. Interesting, but yeah, super friendly. You know, all these Thai workers are very, very friendly. Um, you know, we, we take health very seriously here. Safety's at the factory is very, very important. It's a, it's a beautiful place. I do recommend come visit the, the Skyline Bicycle Factory if you are in Thailand. And uh, you can get yourself a fantastic bike for 70 bucks, 3D printed up, because nothing in Thailand is real. It's all counterfeit, they say. I read on the internet that Thai people can't afford expensive things. Specialized chisel. I think this one actually could be real. I think it could be. But also, I think it's made out of platinum, liquid platinum, or liquid mercury even. That's a, a pretty color, the blue and white. Some, uh, so, yeah, so these bikes are a little bit cheaper. So, that's that dogma will cost you about 70 bucks, and that giant here, the red one, is probably out of 50 bucks. Uh, the cars are there, that's, that's, that's a giveaway. 
And this, so you can see, see this factor is 3D printed Doremo from a, a, a carbon wing of a Cessna that, that took a bit of a nosedive uh, about a year ago in Swanaboom. Schmolky 3D carbon Fesca printed bike that's made out of Cessna wings and Cessna landing gear, carbon fiber landing gear in the Cessnas. It's a, a great product for the 3D printer. Little CAD 10 with the stem penis, this guy here. He's one of the supervisors. So he's got his coffee on the back of the bike there. It's the badge of honor at the factory. And that's the Praying Manus Exact Cannondale under the steerer spacer bike. Quite interesting. And uh, interesting colorway there. And this one here is a Firefly with some uh, some counterfeit lightweights on there. Counterfeit tram SRM on there. Another Cannondale copy. Copy Cannondale. Copy SRAM Red and another yeah, another counterfeit SL7 SW. There was so many today. I honestly ran out of space on the card. There was, there's so many bikes here at the factory. So many bikes here. They sell so many bikes every day. The time trial bikes do cost a bit more. That's about a hundred bucks, um, including these Watts Shop bar ends. Hundred bucks, and you're, you're good to go. Okay, so the, yeah, the TT bikes they cost more than seventy bucks. Just let, giving you a heads up there. The factor here. Uh, this is seventy seventy dollars a road bike, and. Uh, TT bike, hundred bucks, just because extra weight, extra carbon there, so it costs a bit more. Another Trek counterfeit Trek Madone there, um, yeah, it's, it's an amazing place. That that felt looks very very light. Look at that rim brakes, that'd be cheap though, probably about forty bucks because it doesn't have disc brakes. A Merida, wow, I didn't think they'd be counterfeiting Meridas, but hey, yeah, dollars a dollar, business is business. Niche, that's actually genuine. Niche is a, a brand around the corner there, so that's. I think maybe one of the workers rides a niche bike. They're actually genuine. Mongoose Rockadile copy. And these are a couple of bikes ready for the grinder to get 3D printed up into something a bit more flashy and dashy. A Bridgestone. Bridgestone aluminium hybrid frame. A copy canyon from the cliff. And uh, what bike system? I'm not sure what that one is. That's a, spe that's a specialized delay. Another Chinarello Ridley Trek. Counterfeit Trek and Wonder. Uh, very interesting stuff. There's so many bikes here. There's so many people. Out. You really, you, if you do come to the factory here at Skyline, be careful when you walk across because it's just so many bikes zooming in around. All right, so be careful where you where you're walking because a lot of cyclists, a lot of employees on the bikes here, just riding around here, just you know getting it done. But yeah, very friendly bunch of workers. Uh, this is all undercover camera footage, by the way. So this is a world exclusive. Another shot of the Cipollini frames there. Um, some cycling clothing going cheap. And that's that. Yeah, that's that. I think that's actually Tadej Pogacar's Colnago out for a walk. This is this lady's 3D printed on the cheese factory shop. She's going for that 3D printed printed cheese look. And uh, but yeah, my amazing place. Big factory. So the riders here going out for test ride the bikes. So they all pride their workmanship, their craftsmanship. They uh, they all you know they love it. They really enjoy creating these uh, these bikes, 3D printed, getting it done. Cipollini 3D printed, and this is the the ambulance. The workers here they work so hard that sometimes they faint, and so the ambulance will come and pick them up and uh, give them a glucose drip and get them back out there. But the the, the, the uh, fantastic fantastic vibe out here is a giant TCR with stem penis. You know this is not real S-Works because if, if that was a real SL7, that would crack from sitting on the top tube because the SL7 consumer level is very, very fragile. A Colnago, I think this is actually real as well. This is the second real bike out there. Now we're filming with the iPhone because I had to go extra undercover. Extra undercover. And Bradley Wiggins was here earlier last week and left one of his bikes behind. Another specialized lunchbox bike with the lunchbox behind the seat tube there. An old S-Works Venge copy. S-Works Venge Vias copy and 3D printed and a look copy look at that so rim brakes as well so it's a Cervelo S15 copy and uh, amazing That's, they, they cost about 80 bucks the Cervelo ones with those 5 spoke wheels a little bit more expensive the fake bike industry of Bangkok undercover all right, just showing you this. If you give it a thumbs up, if you appreciate this 3D footage, um, amazing stuff here. But yeah, the, qu the quality is pretty good. Like you, you wouldn't pick it 
pick any of these bikes, be fake engine 11s. They're made here in Bangkok as well. Anyway, that's the video, gang. I appreciate it. This is live from Bangkok. I've just filmed this. I'm just editing it now. We're doing the live uh, talking over it. And this is, again, you see the, all the workers here are happy. They're all very happy. All get along. You know, this is the, uh, yeah, the drying rack. And they, they're, they're proud. They're, they're proud to finish their bike for the day, the shift. They do generally about two bikes a shift. And when the bike's finished, they hang it in this drying rack for a few hours. And then another worker comes on, collects it. Puts in the in the room for quality assurance, and then it's off to shipping. These bikes are shipped all over the world. Seventy bucks or hundred bucks free shipping if it's a TT bike. Uh, we have a Pinarello Dogma F12 disc here, and uh, another Colnago. This camera's starting to glitch out. Sorry about that. It's also a Colnago C40, is it? Uh, S Works SL6 counterfeit rim brake. You can tell bikes are um copies because they have rim brakes only disc brakes are legit